Welcome back to Soul Fuel. We're over at the Brentwood Centre for a little commercial installation that we carried out six months ago. So we're gonna roll back, show you the install and also the finished product. Right, do I need to talk? <laughs> Missed you. It's been a minute, but oh, we're back. So we're over at the Brentwood Centre, this is a little commercial job for us. We started this job a couple of days ago, um, as you can see we've got on pretty well so far. So yeah, just going to show you how a commercial job goes and what's involved. Goodbye my lover, goodbye my friend, you have been the one, you have been the one for me. So we're yet to fill this bit, we've had tracks and ballast and whatnot. So it will be the same as this side over here. So it's gonna be completely symmetrical. What we've got over there, we're gonna copy and paste that over here. So what we'll do is we'll show you how we click all the mounting system together. Super easy, super quick. So yeah, on here we've got 288 panels, which is just under 127 kilowatts of power. And we're pairing that with a Solar Edge 100 kilowatt inverter. Behind the panels or under the panels, you can see this side here, we're sort of halfway through completing this bit. So our panels mount to these high bases and they go to the lower bases. Now, they're super easy because they've got this little profile here that tells us where it needs to go up to. We've got our optimizers here with our optimizer clip, so that keeps them off the deck. Once we've wired, we've got these cushy little cable holders here that go all the way along. So once we, we know we're in the right positions and whatnot, we can clip all the cables in, keep it all nice. The way this system works is a ballast system. So <clears throat> basically we're not penetrating the roof. So we use bricks, blocks, and then this has to correspond with the design from ESDEC, which is the manufacturer, as to how many of these we have to put in certain spaces. So it will vary depending on where on the roof it is. And they fit quite nicely on this ballast tray, like that. And that is it. So obviously on this side, we'll have another panel come down here. So this is an east-west orientated system. So it will harness pretty much most of the sun all, all the way throughout the day. So that's the plan, get cracking. So these are the S1000 optimizers that we're using on this job. Because of the size of the job and the amount of panels that we've got, it's really important that we've got the optimizers because then we can map out and we know exactly where they are in the system. Two panels into each optimizer and then we've got between 15 and 17 optimizers per string. We clip them in like that. It keeps them up off, off of the roof so that they're not sitting in standing water. And then these, these string plugs we unwind them and that plugs to the net optimizer in the string which is going to be over there. So from the Solar Edge design software we've got a stringing layout just here on my phone. It shows the map of the roof, the position of each optimizer and how they want to be plugged. So what I'm doing is taking a little sticker off each of the optimizers, sticking that to my map and plotting where everything is so that we can then scan them in and create an array for the customer at the end. Right, simple task. Do that, do that. Do that, do that. Solar edge. That's how we that's that's would it? do it. Yeah, that's how I would do it, yeah. I'm Spend out. three hours doing it, lining them all up, and then it still looked like that at the <laughs> end of it. Like yeah. Tries to make an effort, but. <laughs> Talking about you. It's not the first cherry you picked, is it? <laughs> So, in order to get the gear up here, we got a crane to lift all the mounting equipment up, but unfortunately we weren't able to use the crane to load the panels up here, because the weight bearing capacity of the roof isn't suitable to just drop a pallet of panels on, 600 kilos or whatnot. My glamour assistant will be up in a minute. Can't oh, wait till this is done. This was the safest way that we could think of doing it, is cherry picker, because we've got this full arrest system around here, a scissor lift wouldn't have really been any good because we'd have had to cross this to get to it. Whereas with the cherry picker, it's a bit tedious because we can only do six at a time because of the weight the cherry picker can take. Plonk it on the roof over here. So we haven't got across this. We can just grab them and we're off. And that way we can spread the panels out so we're not breaching any of the structural engineer's weight limits. Look at that. Wallop. Soft landing. Soft landing. Right, I've done half of this, mate. You reckon? I mean, done. Done about that, mate. It's been hired for the week. Well, you, you come with the cherry picker? Yeah.
Mountain, mountain, mountain. Right, ready? Yeah. Look how easy yeah, 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 yeah. this goes together. We know our panels, they're 1722, so I don't really need to make that up, measure that yet. But with this, so this is ESDEC Click Fit Fusion. You get your spacers and you get your high base. All about that base, about that base. You get your feet on the high base that they just click on. He says, like that. Allow for a little bit of unevenness. Get your bar, just put your rolls in it. For that satisfying click. There we go. No tools required. Spacer, high base, down to your low base. Little coupler, low base. That's gonna go back up to a high base. Click. Click. High base, low base. Then once we've got these set up, because it's super light, once we've made them all, we can just sort of pick them up, position where we need them. And then we can measure our spacings. So from there to there, so the panel sits from sort of lip to lip. So I've had a measure from there. I'll just, I'll just rearrange them to my 1722. And away we go. Super easy. So on the design, um, obviously on the drawings, we're going exactly to spec. With the, obviously the ballast trays, they have based it on four kilo bricks, which we don't really find around, you know, around our way. So what we've done instead, we use three kilo bricks, uh, but on the drawings, it'll say uh, use nine per one this tray. So what, obviously what we do, where it's, you know, one kilo less, um, we've added uh, 12 into this tray because each block is three kilo. It. Got one, come on. Go on, Gil. Got one. Can we do it? Do you want my key? Yeah. That's it. Yes. Yeah, nice. nice. <laughs> but as you can see, it's pretty much a lot of repeating. But this is how a panel goes on. So once we've got our ballast tray in with our ballast, we've got our stabilizers that go on. And the panel should hopefully fit quite nicely my glamorous assistant here should fit in there like that make sure that the panel sits nice and snug in this corner in this profile super important also we need to get the next panel on because the way that these optimizers work they're they're thousand watt or s1000 two panels for each optimizer so this panel will plug into this one and then go into the optimizer so get this one on we're gonna plug it up and we repeat <laughs> <laughs> oh, horrible. I'll just get bullied. <laughs> I get bullied by both of them. You gotta stand up for yourself. I mean you can't you I can't you can't offend me anyway because I'm perfect, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna go home and cry to have a cup of pipe. A tub of Ben and Jerry's. So with Vesdeck and a lot of ballast systems out there, you get wind deflectors. So these go on the side of the panels like this to prevent, try and prevent as much wind going under and lifting the panels. And you've got a little screw off for each one. They all line up absolutely perfect. So it gives us a nice finish as well. So we'll continue that all the way down, both ends. Makes it look a bit smarter, tidies it up and does the business. This little mid camp, camp. This is our mid clamp used for fixing the panels down to the base. It's got a little spacer that slots in between the panels. We then get our screw, sit it through in the base plate, thread it in, do it up, two or three dugger duggers, and that's in place. So as you can see, it's quite a big job, so we're not gonna be done today. The inverters are going here. So we've got our Solar Edge three-phase Synergy Inverter. So it's a 100 kilowatt unit. That's what well, compromise of three units and a master. So that's going to go on the wall over here. Like that, all up. And then we're going to do something similar to what the existing is. So we're going to have some tray work going up the side with a lid to run our DC up over and onto the roof. And then we can then, sort of on the roof, we'll do a T across to each bay of, or array of panels. So. That's the plan. 
So supply for the system is coming from right the way over the back there. You can see this sort of tray work that goes all the way up, up the side of that building, over the top, along the flat, that very far building. So that's where our supply is coming from. That's the incoming main over there. So I'll get power from there to our inverter location over there. Also get some data over so the system can monitor what's coming in, in and out of the building. Yeah, it's along our route. As you can see from the previous clip, it was a little bit warmer. We're currently sat in four degrees on a roof with a little bit of wind, so it's pretty chilly. So I'll quickly show you what we've got up here. So we've got a 144 Canadian solar, 440 watt panels, each with solar edge optimizers underneath, so we can monitor each panel individually, which is nice, especially in the future for any maintenance and call outs. So this is mimicked on the other side. This is the roof, we'll show you the inverter and stuff. You wouldn't have seen this bit yet because this was done on a different day to the install on the roof, which is just up there. So you see our DC comes down to our kit on the wall here. This is the kit, it's a full solar edge system. So this is a 100 kilowatt setup. Each of these is just over 33 kilowatts. We've got about 126 kilowatts of PV power on the roof. So it comes down to here through this master unit and that then gets distributed to these inverters. Super easy to fit. These are all just factory leads that it's, we just plug and play. So on the wall here, we've got our main AC isolator. This was installed by Planned Environmental Services. They've done the m and &E sort of revamp. Main AC cutout for the system, 70 mil, five core flex. It's the HO7 flex that's suitable for outside supplying our kit. I mean, it's the coolest cable I've ever seen, Titan X. And that cable goes all the way back to the, the main incoming room where it's fed from. So one of the best things with Solar Edge is we can connect it to the network. And because we've got the optimizers behind each panel, it means we can map out the system and we can identify where each panel is and what it's producing. So if one's slightly less efficient or faulty, we know exactly where it is and we can pinpoint that fault. So we've got our data cables that come in here, one for network, so it connects it to the monitoring platform online. One that takes us to our incoming meter, so we can monitor what's coming in and out of the building. And we've got, also got another one here that links to the BMS system, so the building management system. If there's an issue where the fire alarm goes off, it's interlinked to this, meaning that the whole system will just shut down to a safe voltage. So this, this little guy up here is the reason why the panels are squeaky clean up the top. There's no, no bird mess in any of those. And as you can see, it's got the same smile as, as Alex. This is the BMS panel that we spoke about on the roof. So this is where our comms comes back to, to integrate with this and the fire alarm uh, panel. We've got a little controller on here that I'll show you in a minute. This is planned environmental services who are responsible for this revamp and for getting us on site to carry out the solar, so thanking you. In here's our nifty little gadget that connects the system to the BMS and the fire alarm panel downstairs. Downstairs we have got a little shut off button as well, which is located beneath the fire panel. You know, if they want to shut the system off in an emergency without the fire alarm going off, then they've got a button to do so as well. So on here, you can see normal operation, DC is about 750 volts. Trick the system into thinking the button's been pressed, Immedi almost immediately we get PV reducing power, voltage rather, and you'll start to see within a few minutes this will just decrease down to a safe touch voltage. And away we go, quite quickly decreasing now, 600 volts, really good bit of kit, especially commercial, extra safety, peace of mind, happy days. Once the system's deemed safe, we can turn it back on, immediately it goes back to PV normal operation and the voltage will start to increase and ramp up back to our operating voltage. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in getting a commercial installation done, please get in touch.